minutes after the break, but once again their nervousness in front of goal surfaced at the wrong time. Kevin Gallagher, the culprit. With just over a week to the finals, FIFA remain adamant about tackles from behind. They'll bring a red card. Scotland haven't got the message, but on this occasion the only cards were yellow and they were for the resultant fight. Scotland enjoyed much the better of the second half, but the home side created the openings without ever really looking like scoring. The Scots will, however, be delighted with nil-nil. The USA are ranked 11 in the world. Brazil, however, may prove more difficult to smother. Will Walden, ITN Sports. The reality of Ian Wright's shattered World Cup hopes were there for all to see when he arrived home from England's training camp in Spain. He wasn't saying anything, but his expression told his own story. A hamstring injury picked up against Morocco on Wednesday did the damage. England's 22-man squad will be named on Monday. Still with football, and Blackburn Rovers have smashed their transfer record to land the Southampton striker Kevin Davis. Davis is still only 21, will complete the £7.5 million move to Rovers on Monday. It's the third largest transfer between English clubs. The former Chesterfield player has agreed a seven-year contract worth £20,000 a week. The jockey Neil Pollard had a lucky escape in the big race of the day, the Coral Sprint Handicap at Newmarket. Pollard riding the 12-to-1 shot Hill Magic was up with the leaders when his saddle slipped. He was thrown off, but amazingly suffered only minor injuries. The race was won by Magic Rainbow at 20 to 1. Finally, tennis news. Boris Becker has confirmed he won't be playing at Wimbledon after 
pure formula.